Okay, here goes. Welcome to my first Let's Play ever. And I mean ever. I don't know if the sound is too loud or too quiet, but whatever. This is Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slam. Pretty much one of my favorite DS games of all time. Um, please don't be alarmed if you see a small volume down in the. Um, there we go. Yes. Um, so this is a spin-off of the dra of the obviously popular Dragon Quest series. Um, and I personally own this game in, you know, actual physical form, not just as a ROM or an emulator. I actually have this game and I, um, have completed it two or three times. So, I know for a fact that I'm not gonna, you know, fail in beating this game and this, the bosses of this Let's Play, which, let's face it, would be really embarrassing. So, yeah, anyways, let's get started. Start. There we go. So, obviously, I don't have, any, I have a game in this yet. If I did, that would be very stupid. That would be a very bad way to start a Let's Play. Venture forth. Now, the characters that please stop pressing there. Once upon a time, there was a small kingdom called Slimenia. There, in the peaceful town of Boingberg, lived a slime called Rocket. You gotta love how all the proper nouns are colors, like are in colors in the the dialogue and everything. It's really cool. I mean, really really intelligent. I mean, no, I'm not, I'm, whatever. Anyways, so, this, this is not Rocket, this is his little sister, as you could probably guess. Yeah. This is Rocket. So you could probably tell, class, you know, regular slime, whatever. Anyways, the palace garden. Now, I'm not moving right now, this is just happening automatically. Um, this is the palace garden. This is Hooli, Rocket's best friend. He's a heel slime. He's not very intelligent, actually. Because he's always pulling, like, weird pranks and stuff. But anyways, apparently he managed to somehow, and for some odd reason it makes no sense, procure this thing called, steal this thing called the warrior flute from the king's, like, treasure room or whatever the hell. And, and Swatsy, this, I don't know, what, remember what kind of slime he is, but he's... He's usually the voice of reason in the group, and he has this accent that could potentially be, you know, British if sound hard to tell. And Uli is kind of a moron. Anyways, they're going to do this thing. I love this part because Uli clears up these leaves in like a minute that's like the record you have to be and I've never I've made I always managed to do it in like under 12 seconds which is gonna be really funny which is which is honestly gonna be really funny he did it in 60 seconds I'm going to do it in 12 just watch me best way to clear up the leaves oh yeah I always forget this this is this little there's um I'm not bothering to read the dialogue to do the voice of the dialogue because I just I'm not good at doing different kinds of voices. It's not my strong suit. I'm not really good at any voices other than my own. Anyways, this is the tutorial you see you have the the thing showing you how to do the things. Now there's something cool here. You can lift up this you can hit the thing and pick it up. Boing, boing, boing. And then you can throw them with B. Which is pretty cool, and then you can like jump underneath them again. And then, anyways, I'm just gonna press start to exit the tutorial. This is this little tiny mini game that is so easy that I just beat the crap out of it in like every time. I'm already holding down A to do the last of last and start. I always miss that one like last thing, like thing leave like right there. Seriously, I don't even know why.
Okay, so 14 seconds. Usually I can do it in like 12, but for some reason I just didn't do it in a really methodical way this time. Ha! Hooli's record is history! Ancient history! That nobody really cares about because he's lame. Okay, it's. Yeah. No way! Oh my god, you beat my record of cleaning off those leaves in a minute. It was so slow, I think. Yeah, Swati's like, oh my gosh, that was awesome! And. Yeah. Yeah, Huli has this thing where he's always talking about, oh, I keep promises all the time. So here's the warrior, float here. And here, this is Rocket's dad speaking. He always talks in all capitals, so he's yelling all the time. Which is kind of hilarious. Oh, crumbs. It's like the lamest expletive I've ever, ever encountered, ever. <laughs> Yikes, we have to hide that flute! Oh, uh, uh, what? So, he gets this brilliant idea of doing this. Yeah, no. So, it's like, and Swatsy's being the voice of reason again, and then stuff. Promises not to do that again. <laughs> Just sort of stupid. Anyways, this is. They all get a lecture and then. Uh, uh, hey, have you seen the warrior flute? Yeah, it's right there. He's like, shaped just like this, in fact. What exactly is this? Seriously, what is this? Seriously, what? Uh, and then Huli tries to come up with his lame, like, a bat. Well, and then he's like, then why does it have eyes? And Bo gets this brilliant idea of, hey, you can see the ball, bloody, blah, yeah. Good for you, I'm speaking in capital letters. And for the umpteenth time, don't play in the palace garden or I'll rip your ears off. Wait, you don't have ears. La, 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 la. Swatsy's so like, yeah, it's great, awesome. Really. All right. I'm going to stop here, um, because I'm probably going to be eating supper soon, so yeah, alright, see how that works out.